Oh, a quick update on the uh, magnetic phase shift uh, seed experimentation. Um, I only made one really stupid mistake and had nothing to do with the experiment, but uh, every time I actually grow the uh, South Pole seeds, uh, their little uh, roots um, actually end up poking their way through and I actually uh, change and clean um, the drainage cloth I have here for them. So there were actually uh, this morning when I woke up, I've been up all night, there were like uh, 30 or 40 of the white little roots sticking out towards the magnet. Uh, the uh, North Pole seeds do just the opposite. They never do that. So the actual, the South Pole seeds are actually, I have them uh, propped up like this with a magnet underneath them. What they're doing is they're actually poking their way through the cloth towards the South Pole magnetism. Now you can actually see here how green this is exactly three days after exposure. Of course I'm going to follow this all the way through. I've done this experiment a numberless times. You see how green and fluffy they are? If you actually stick your nose up to the cloth, they'll smell and taste radically different at the end. But they have an actual nice green natural smell to them and you can see how green they are. And uh, something else that actually always happens, uh, it doesn't matter what sort of seeds it is, I said, uh, this is only seed, but animals and, you know, hatching chickens, worms, you know, does the same thing. Um, these are the uh, North Pole exposed seeds. Uh, there are a lot more dead seeds on the bottom here that uh, have not germinated at all. Um, the uh, North, Pole, uh, North Pole jar exposure seeds always uh, form a really tight, mangled knot, whereas the South Pole never do. They're always uh, loose and freewheeling, if you will. Um, <laughs> uh, keep getting water on my table here. You gotta rinse them off uh, several times a day and then uh, wring the, let the water drain out. Um, but if you actually stick your nose up uh, at the hole, where I actually have a, a air hole here, and smell in there, it's just a really acidic, chemically nasty smell. And at the end of growing these, I'll uh, show you the result where things radically change at the end. And my god, they smell horrible. They taste horrible. It's like uh, you grew them on top of some sort of chemical waste dump. I mean, they're just horrible. Total opposite of the South Pole seeds. They're really sickly and mealy and a lot more dead seeds are here at the bottom. If I could roll the jar around, you can see a bunch of the dead seeds down there. There's a pile of them right there. Um, typically about four times as many dead seeds, in other words they do nothing on the North Pole than the South Pole, and like I said, I really wish I should have shown you that, uh, I wasn't thinking this morning, I was like, oh you should have videotaped that, Ta videotaped that, you pathetic idiot, but the uh, roots of the South Pole were sticking through the cloth towards the uh, South Pole of the magnet. These smell wonderful and at the end they'll taste lovely, obviously I have to date my word for that. Um, you can always set up a meeting with me and I'll have them grown ahead of time and you can come and taste them for yourself. <laughs> I don't actually think they'd last a trip through the mail, but, uh, you know, you gotta keep them cool after you, uh, after you get done growing them. But, you know, you can always do this experiment yourself, uh, but you have to use larger magnets because, uh, the divergent field necessary for, you know, getting the experiment correct is its not vital, but it makes things a lot more simple. So thanks for watching, and I continue this experiment on to the end, and uh, every experiment like this is exactly the same. Always is. Um, reproducible by anybody out there, if you'd uh, like to do it. And next little video, I'm going to show you actually how I do the seed exposure, and how I do the uh, magnetic seed growth um, with the magnet. Okay, check out the next video.